Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial series on using your Kindle second generation. Today we're going to take a look at navigating the Kindle store and buying books. Now as you can imagine, Kindle is very excited to have you buy books from the Kindle store. So anytime you can get into the Kindle store by just pressing the menu key. In this case we're on the home page, so the menu we're presented with looks like this. If we were actually reading a book, it would look a little different, but we'd still see shopping Kindle store as the top item. So we'll click on that. Now you can see we can choose to browse by books, we can choose to browse newspapers, magazines, we can also look at Kindle bestsellers. We can read the Kindle store blog and we can also see some recommendations. This is Sean Carruthers Kindle that we've borrowed for this tutorial series. We can see here some books that uh, Kindle is recommending he might like based on previous purchases that he's made. Now all this stuff including reading the store blog is entirely free. While data connection is made, you're not paying for that data connection. You only actually pay when you decide to purchase a book and the price of connection is built into the price of the book. So we can choose to look at some books here. Now you can see we can navigate, you can see currently there are almost 320,000 books in the Kindle store. We can choose to navigate by category. In this case we'll go into, let's have a look at literary fiction. We're using the D-pad to navigate. We can jump columns by pressing left or right and up and down navigates us through the menu. Literary fiction. So we can see here, help, the help is uh, the top item. We can see a very small picture of the cover. We can see the title, we can see the author, and we can also see a star rating based on um, other readers and what they've said about the book. So that looks pretty good, four and a half stars. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at that. Now we can see a very brief synopsis here. We can choose to navigate using the joypad again, and we have more selected here. We can click on that. Now we can see a, a little bit more detail using the next and previous pages to navigate through, we can read a little bit more detail on this book and decide if it's something we think we might want to buy. At any time, we can hit back to go into the previous page. We can also select the author to see other books by this author. Now we can see here the print list price, the Kindle price, and the savings uh, based on reading it in a digital version. And you can see that it's free international delivery via the WhisperNet, which is the Amazon um, cellular network that they're using. So we can choose to read some customer reviews here. We can see in this case this is ranked number 18 in the Kindle store, which, uh, which bodes well. So we'll click on read customer reviews. Now we can read through here and decide if this is something we might actually want to read. We can also navigate to the top of the page here. We can choose to write our own review or read editorial reviews. So in this case we'll just go back to the page. So I, I feel pretty good about this, but not, maybe not quite good enough to buy it. So let's decide to either try a sample or we could add it to our wish list. If we chose to add it to our wish list, it would be available on Amazon for our friends to view, and if they decided, they could gift it to us. In this case, we're just going to try a sample. So now it's telling us that it's sending us our free sample, and as soon as it's finished downloading, we'll be able to see it on our home screen. Now, it won't take that long, so let's hit the home screen and see if it's been delivered yet. There it is. Now we can click on this, see it's selected here, and we can choose to read it like we would any other book. We can navigate next and previous to read the uh, pages in this book and decide if it's something we, we feel we might actually like to read and purchase the full book. Now if we decide we want to purchase the full book, all we have to do is hit menu. Buy this book now is the first item selected. Or we could just return back into the Kindle store. Let's do that. Now you can see here we have newspapers and magazines. Periodicals will be delivered to your device automatically if you choose to subscribe. You can also buy single issues of magazines. So we can see here some of the more popular ones that we could choose. We could choose to download The Atlantic. Let's give that a go. So now you can see here we get a bit of a description. It looks very much like the book page. We can also see some customer reviews and a sales rank in the Kindle store. Now if we choose to subscribe, we'll be given a 14-day free trial. We could also choose to purchase the current issue at $2.99. Now I'm not going to sign Sean up for any subscriptions that you'll have to cancel, um, but all you really have to do is go into your Amazon account and say you don't want to read this magazine anymore, and you won't, it won't be delivered and you won't, you won't be charged for it. So that's navigating the Kindle store and buying books. Now remember, this is a multiple-part series, and be sure to watch all the parts.